Greetings, people. It's Jared here, Wolfgang1, back for the last part. Thank fuck the last part of six weeks of Pieces of Shit. Again, a massive shout out to Marcus Prime for requesting what I can only describe as six weeks of absolute torture. Um, I will get him back somehow, eventually. I haven't worked out how yet, but, it, it, but it's coming, mate. Um, sleep with one eye open is all I would say. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final part. Uh, this is going to be Generation 1 Flame Feather. Okay, so here is Flame Feather in his alt mode. Now, Flame, I've, I've picked Flame Feather as the best of a bad bunch because he seems to incorporate um, two features from the previous uh, one, Cindersaw and Sparkstalker, in the sense that he's got something similar to Sparkstalker's alt mode, um, but again, he's a monster. He's he's not a, a, a monster bird or anything like that. He's a monster. So he is a breaded turkey twizzler, Okay. Um, he has got the detail of, uh, Cindersaw in terms of, like, the sort of, the detail picked out in terms of, like, the feathers and the fur and all that sort of stuff, and then got something akin to, like, the wings from, like, the other one, uh, Sparkstalker. Again, going a bit yellow just here, which is a shame. Um, his colours seem to fit the best so far. Um, that seems to be slightly out of focus. His colours seem to fit the best, um, but don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, Despite the fact that I've chosen this as the best of a bad bunch, this is still a piece of shit, okay? Um, because this is six weeks of shit. So, again, I just want to give a massive shout-out and thank you very, very fucking much to Marcus Prime for requesting these. Um, do us a favour, Mark. Don't don't request anything again for a little while because... Um, <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, of course. Uh, you can request what you want, uh, just as long as it's not these pieces of shit again. Um, so, this is Flame Feather. Uh, a monster. He's a monster. Again, his spark mechanism doesn't work. I'm absolutely okay with that. Um, let's try and get this fucking thing in focus, because it's doing me editing. There we are. So, um, yeah, he's got a little bit of rust on his screws. I think they all have had at, at this point, really. Uh, a little bit of paint chipping on his on his beak, uh, but they were good enough to pick out the eyes on the monster again, which is cool. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really else to it. He shares exactly the same transformation as the other guys. Uh, we're going to take him to transfer. I don't know how long this review's um, gone on for, really. Uh, probably about three minutes. And really, to be honest, that's all they really should have had each is three minutes, just to highlight they're a piece of shit, you know, and that's the end of it. Um, but I need to try and pad these out and make it sound like I know what I'm talking about, uh, when in reality, you guys know for a fact I don't. So um, we are going to just take this guy to robot mode and then just get this shit out of the way because, you know, whatever, quite frankly, whatever. He's got one stick on his leg to indicate he's a Decepticon. Um, great. Fucking brilliant. Knock yourself out. So, again, same transformation. We're going to take the tail back, just like that. Put the legs down. Put the monster arms down. Fold his fucking head back. Split his wings apart. And there is the robot mode. The, oh fucking scary dairy robot mode. And they've picked his face out in green this time. His crutch is suspiciously yellow. Go and have a wash. Um, again, the this is... I think the thing that annoys me most about these is not the fact that, you know, they're, they're, they're about two inches fucking tall. Um, it's the fact that these arms are, are put on this, like, sort of split apart thing, which means you can't rotate them or do anything with them. So he just he just stands there. He just stands there. Oh, fucking scary dairy. Look at this scary dairy. In fact, you know what? I've got all three of them here. I've got all three of them here. Like, like that. Look at these scary bastards. Look at that. I know if I'm walking down a dark alley, the first thing I'm going to do is piss myself laughing. Right? Just... Fucking crap. Anyway. <laughs> um, so that, that that's him. That what, what is there to say about these guys? I am I tell you what there's there is to say about this. I'm glad that this is the sixth week and I'm glad I don't have to review these anymore. Um if I ever end up doing Redux reviews again, believe me, these guys will not be on that list. Um my opinion of them won't have changed. Um just shocking. Absolutely shocking. Um <laughs> I guess. I guess the worst part of it all, it really, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that I bought them. I bought them second hand, actually possibly 14th hand. Who knows? I still went ahead and bought them. What does that say about me as an adult toy collector? What does that say about me as the end consumer? It says that I, above all else, above the designers for these things, above any marketing team, I am the cunt. 
right? I am the cunt in this situation. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this part six of six of six weeks of shit. I am Gerald Gavin Barry, also known as Wolf King One. I've got no idea what I'm going to review next week. It's going to be a surprise to everyone, including myself. Um, but I'm hoping it will be something that ain't as questionable as this fucking thing. So, I will be back next week. Until then, thank you very much for watching and take care.